Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Jonathan Belcher on podcast number three, I believe this is. Uh, and what I really want to do today in this recording is really just kind of paint a picture for you and paint an empowering picture, a picture that's so inspirational, that is so motivating, exhilarating, and so exciting that you refine the belief and the faith that you need to have in yourself to do powerful things. So, you know, today is a lot of things going on right now in the world. There's a lot of pandemonium. There's a lot of chaos. Uh, you know, right now we have the looting going on currently, uh, you know, uh, with the passing recently with George Floyd um, at the brutal hands of the police who killed him. But that that's really, you know, everything is connected in life, you know, and as much as I'm an entrepreneur, as much as I've been you know, earning money passively online for almost 10 years now. Uh, and I think about the reasons why I got started in my own business, the reasons why I got started as an entrepreneur. A lot of that was really be for freedom, you know, for the freedom to be, for the freedom to earn income doing what I love, working with people that I love. And it didn't matter to me the, the colors and the, and the shapes and the sizes and the different backgrounds and religions of the people I would work with. Up to this day, I love working with people. I've worked with people from all walks of life, from different countries and different parts of the world. And I think that's an amazing thing. I think that's actually a blessing. I think it's so great when businesses and opportunities can pull, pull different groups of people together. So that's really why I got into this thing from day one, my very first business that I ever joined, the first business I ever started, I was just 18, 19 years old, you know, and fast forward now, 10 years later, it's unfortunate that so much of the divides that we see in the world are here. You know, we have all these walls of division that keep people separate from one another, but really and truly when you, be, when you become spiritually in tune, you realize that everyone is really connected and we're really honestly just one race realistically. And unfortunately, certain things just cause us to bicker and fight and separate. But really what I want to talk to you about on today's podcast is, you know, just how to really, really make a change for yourself, for your family and your community and how to really, really become an important figure to those around you, right? And this isn't about becoming like a, some type of um, crazy famous leader or anything if you don't want. This isn't about you having to have millions of followers. This is really to letting you know that, you know, I'm here for the underdog. I've always been here for the underdog since day one. You know, I can remember days when I was struggling, trying to rake up some money to pay off my car insurance and pay phone bills and pay different bills that I had, you know, as an entrepreneur. And, you know, really, it's just the fight of going from nothing to something, the fight of going from not having much hope, feeling like, you know, I'm in a rat race where I'm getting a paycheck every single week. And then it's like, these bills are piling up. And then it's like, I want to really enjoy life. There's certain things that are, that are, there are nice things that I want. And this was going on in my in my head at this time, right? This is like my early 20s. And, you know, a lot of at this time, you know, my mom is trying to talk me out of business. <laughs> you know, she's trying to talk me out of going in, down the entrepreneurship path. But I'm so blessed that I chose to do what my heart was telling me to do. And so many people go through life and they don't necessarily do what their heart is telling them to do. They, they Sometimes people tend to do what they think somebody else wants them to do or what they think looks good to the outside, you know, or they do something because they think it sounds prestigious, but not because they truly, truly have a deep rooted reason for doing it. And if you truly want to accomplish big things in your life, if you truly want to accomplish your vision in your business, you have to be able to see the bigness that you want. 
you have to be able to see it. You have to be able to see it in your mind before it's even real because there will be many people on your path that tells you, oh, don't do that. It's not going to work. You know, they'll tell you, oh, don't do that. Oh, you're this. Oh, you're black. Oh, you're white. You're Spanish. Oh, they're not going to listen to you because this, because you look like that, because you're short, because you're tall. And all of that stuff is false. All of that stuff is just discouraging ideas that sometimes we amass and we take that with us even in other areas of life for example in business and it took me a while to realize that getting spiritually in tune and really understanding me and really getting clear on who i am you know uh and just the future i want to create getting really, really crystal clear on that, I never knew that that was the route to success. That is the route to breakthroughs. That is the route to transformations. That is the route to changes. That is the route to blessings and prosperity and abundance. The route to it is just really understanding that, look, everything in life is connected. Everything in life is connected. And that's why what I've been working on I know I've been talking about this for a while and I haven't really been saying the name of it or anything like that. But what I've been working on is so, so powerful. It is so, so revolutionary, if you will, in the sense that, you know, people will be able to, for the first time, earn passive income just simply shedding awareness on whatever it is they want to bring awareness to, whatever topic they want to talk about. You know, for one of the first times, people will be able to earn a passive income just basically kind of doing what I'm doing now, which is just basically just kicking gems and talking to you and bringing up stories and bringing up ideas and concepts that I feel can help humanity. Because like earlier on, like I have a friend who's a cop and, you know, after this whole situation happened with George Floyd and you might say, how is this relating to uh, freedom in business? It, it relates a lot to it. You know, when you talk about equality, that's freedom. You know, when you talk about uh, just allowing people the right to love who they want to love, for example, or do, you know, that's freedom. You know, um, so when you will talk about allowing people to work a nine to five job if they want, or if you talk about allowing people to start a business if they want, that's freedom. You know, talk about allowing somebody to practice the religion that they believe in and, and, and serve the God that they believe in. Um, even that is freedom. Even though we may not always agree with each other, just the freedom to do what we love to do and what we feel secure in doing, as long as it doesn't hurt, hurt the individuals around us, that's really what freedom really is. You know, freedom at the end of the day is what do you want to do? What would you like to do? What, what what would you like to create? What would you like to produce? That's what freedom is. So I was talking to my my cop friend earlier, who's a good cop friend. And, you know, this whole situation that happened with George Floyd uh, being murdered in Minnesota, I think it's Minnesota, right, uh, is a very touchy topic. It's a very touchy topic because there are so many moving parts to it. It's, so, it's such a complex thing. Um, and, and my cop friend, he's black. And, you know, he was just saying to me, you know, straight up that, look, nobody on my force agree that that was protocol. We don't agree with what that cop did to that man. We all, whether we're Asian, whether we're black, whether we're white, we all saying, look, he murdered that guy. You get what I'm saying? And I think that it's important that we hear those inner discussions and we hear this, the actual real feelings of, let's say, even a cop who's a friend, for example, my friend who told me that earlier that kind of put things into perspective in a better way for everybody because, you know, at first, my first reaction was the knee-jerk reaction. Oh, I'm getting just upset. But then a part of me was like, all right, of course we know that this is wrong, but then let me also understand now because now even innocent cops are, are liable to be hurt. You know, I'm in New York right now and I just watched, not too long ago, I watched, I was watching the, the live video. There was a live video of looting going on in Manhattan and people were breaking into jewelry stores and breaking into all kinds of stores, just taking things and, you know, just, just doing their protesting with however they see fit. But look at where this stems from. What is the root of all of this? The root of all of this is people's, you know, minds and their heart isn't right. 
people's minds and their heart isn't right. And that's why the chaos and the pandemonium is going on that we see. You know, and my vision is to help get people's minds right, but also get people to realize that, look, we're all one realistically. You know, although we may look a little different, although maybe we may believe in a little bit different things, at the end of the day, we're all connected. We all have similar desires. We all have the same needs, you know, and it's a very childish thing that we're dealing with today. It's, it, it's, it's as serious as it is. It's still very childish in the sense that we shouldn't still be bickering about the things that we're bickering, or bickering about. That's just my personal opinion on the situation. But just to talk solutions, I, I you know, I, I'm done with the solution to this whole situation. Like I said, I believe the solution is to bring awareness in a way where people can earn passive income as well. You know, and the way that that would work is through YouTube, which is right here. You're probably hearing this podcast on YouTube or some website right now. But YouTube is a very powerful way to earn passive income. Now, I've been earning passive income on YouTube for as long as I can remember the past seven, eight years now. Uh, and a lot of you actually saw and you witnessed when I was there quitting my job, you witnessed, you know, the first time I got my first sale, you witnessed the first time I saw my name on the leaderboard and, and you witnessed, you know, a lot of you, some of you have been here from for a while now and you've been watching my journey. And I kind of, I try to, I over the years, I've been working on becoming more and more of an open book, you know, opening up more emotionally, opening up more, just, just being real and just being having that real personal connection because that's something that takes took me time to develop and to understand because sometimes the internet game is about opening up and if you're not used to opening up it could take you a while to get into the swing of things when it comes to that so you know I just want you to know that I'm just like you you know I can remember just trying to figure it out, trying to figure out how to even get my first lead. <laughs> I remember the days when I used to try to, I used to be up wee hours at night, 14 hours, you know, up, just up, just researching how to do this, how to build this funnel, how to create this website, how to create this banner. And certain things can be very hard, but I think back to what made me persevere, what, made, what makes me keep pushing. What is it that makes people keep pushing? No matter how much they get knocked down, no matter how much, you know, they're doing the right thing and they're not getting the credit, no matter how long they're putting in the hard work and they're not getting the, reaping the benefits they deserve. What is it that makes a person continue to keep going? And I'm going to tell you what it is. It's really a vision for something deeper, you know, really a vision for where it's like, as individuals, we deal with our shit, right? We deal with our problems, we deal with our issues, but we're not realizing that those very same issues that we're dealing with as an individual, so many millions of other people can connect with that. And so many millions of other people, if we could just open up the discussion and talk about it, we can come to a, a more, uh, how can I put it? We can come to a better place and an understanding of each other. And really with the 300 to Freedom Movement, what my vision is, is to help people to become so spiritually enlightened and so personally developed in the midst of that understanding that we're all one. And then what we can do is we can create whatever it is that we want. We can create even a better world, for example, a better place for children in the future. You know, but first, unfortunately, People can't make a change without knowing what the problem is, you know, so we see what the problem is. I saw what the problem is. I've been seeing what the problem is on the news. Um, coronavirus happened not too long ago. Now we're dealing with the uh, police brutality stuff with the looting. And really, when I'm looking at all of this, I'm like, wow, you know, people really are going to need a virtual way to earn money. More and more, you can see that. The, the how can I put it like job security, the more you fight for job security, the less you end up having the freedom that you truly want. 
You know what I mean? Because you're not necessarily creating. Now, is that is there anything wrong with working a job? There's nothing wrong with working a job. I know people make a lot of money working a job. But however, if you're a person and you're listening to the sound of my voice and you've been following my videos and you're like, look, man, I got a job, but there's something extra I want to do in my life. There's something purposeful I want to do on the side. I want to build on something. I want to shed my voice. I want to share my story with people. I want people to hear my story and be inspired. And I want people to be able to earn money hearing my story. And I want people to earn money sharing their story. If you're thinking like that, then I welcome you with open arms to work with me. You know, I welcome you with open arms to work with me. Because together, there's no limit to what we can do. Together, there's no limit to the amount of passive income you can earn. So YouTube is so powerful. And the reason why it's so powerful is because I can literally talk about anything that I want to talk about. You can talk about anything that you want to talk about. You can put a keyword targeted to it, right? You name that video, whatever it is you're talking about, a keyword targeted to it. And literally people from all walks of life, people who don't even know you exist will be able to find you just from the share, just from them simply researching on the web. They will be able to find your videos. So it's almost like YouTube videos, your YouTube videos can serve as like you casting out a net, you know, or let's just say going fishing, for example. Have you ever went fishing? I used to go fishing with my aunt and I used to go fishing with my aunt and my uncle and my cousins. And we would go whenever we would go to check my cousins out in camp. We would just basically hit two birds with one stone and also go fishing. And whenever this is when I learned that, you know, when you go fishing, this is when I, he taught me that. When, when the fish, you get the fish, you actually reel the fish in. If it's too much of a baby fish, you got to put the fish back in the water. You can't take that fish home because it's a small fish. It's a baby fish. You got to throw that baby back in the water because if you don't throw that baby back in the water, how are you going to be able to come back and fish again and get adults? Because if you take that baby home and you kill that baby fish, it can't grow up to become an adult. And when I think about freedom, I think of allowing something to grow to its fullest potential. That's what I personally think of. When I think of freedom, I think of allowing something to stretch to its maximum potential. For example, a tree, just its branches, the branches of a tree just constantly stretch out, right? Doesn't it? Doesn't the branches of a tree just stretch out? every Look at the tree. Look outside your house right now. I don't know where you're at right now, but I'm doing this call right now. I'm at home just relaxing. Right now, we're actually dealing with the curfew. We had a, it's crazy. We had a curfew, 11 p.m. curfew, and it ends at five in the morning here in New York. So I just said, you know what, let me pop on and let me just talk my stuff of what's going on. But look at a tree. Trees, they just grow. Their branches just grow and expand, and they don't care what's in the way. You know what I mean? And we're human beings, and we have that limitless potential to grow as well. But for some reason, after high school or after college, we say, oh, that's it. I don't need any more knowledge. I don't need to grow anymore. And then we have to deal with stress. Sometimes we deal with depression. Sometimes we deal with life, the BS in life as we get older. And when we're overwhelmed because we're not spiritually developed enough to deal with the situation. We're not spiritually developed enough to be prepared to where it, it doesn't phase us or, or take us so far again. So back to the story, what I was saying before. I forgot the story, what I was saying before. But anyway, yeah, it's kind of like. It's kind of like I'm just looking at the world and I'm realizing that people are going to need a virtual business, something virtual that they can basically just talk about whatever they want to talk about, share, spread awareness and educate people on whatever it is they want to educate people on. Of course, with my whole thing going on, if you want to lock arms with me, this thing is going to be straight. Um, it's not going to be hate crime stuff. We're going to be, we're not going to be pushing hate towards a certain group or anything like that. You know what I mean? Like, I believe that that's an old and, and, and limiting way of doing things, but I do believe there's power in bringing awareness to the reality of what a situation is. And from you bringing awareness to that, I believe that you should be able to earn passive income. So my question to you is basically, do you want to become a YouTuber of some sort and do you want to be able to get seen constantly over and over again on YouTube from 
all kinds of people from different parts of the world researching and searching for things online? Do you want to be found? Do you want people to see your face? Do you want people to hear your voice? Do you want people, do you want to become almost like a public figure sharing your story, sharing your message and becoming such an important part of people's transformation that literally they say you're the reason for why they trans, they, you know, why they changed their life. The reason for why their life is better, why they're making more money, why they're spiritually grounded, why they're not depressed anymore, why they have more confidence than ever before. You know, if we pass on teachings that help people to understand themselves better and believe in themselves more and realize that we're all interconnected and we're all one at the end of the day, at the very end of the day, if we do that, automatically the world can become a better place because the consciousness that we're casting out into the universe is a consciousness of love, abundance, prosperity, peace, unity, and strength. But in order to do that, we, you know, the only way that we can do this is by getting the right knowledge. So you know, the, the crazy stuff that's going on right now, don't let it discourage you. Don't let it get you down. Don't let it make you lose hope. Don't let it make you lose sight of the fact that a lot of times these walls of separations are up and they're just illusions. They're not really real, but we hold on to these ideas and these concepts and these beliefs like they're so real, but they're not really real because at the end of the day, what does the average person really just want? The average person really just wants love. The average person just really wants some type of acknowledgement. The average person just really wants some type of encouragement. The average person just wants to feel a part of something. The average person just wants to know that they're alive and they're headed somewhere and they're growing. That's all people really want to know. And when we discuss freedom, when we talk about freedom and, I, and, I, and I'm looking at, you know, the decisions that Donald Trump has been making and, and um, it's very hard sometimes to figure out what's going on. But you still know at the end of the day, as an individual, you still know at the end of the day what makes you feel good and what makes you feel bad in life. At the end of the day, we all still know that. So... When I'm looking at everything going on, it says to me that, number one, virtual businesses are going to be booming more than ever before moving forward. That's without a doubt. Number two, we got to really bring awareness to certain things, whatever that may be, whatever problems you see that we need to bring awareness to, um, whether it may affect your family, your friends, whatever you want to bring awareness to. Let's bring awareness to it before it's too late, before they start doing too much censorship. That's number two. Number three, also have a way to earn passive income, bringing the awareness at the same time. Earn money, bringing the awareness on things that mean something to you. So in other words, let's say if you need to be out your job to fight a protest or not even a protest, or if you need to be out your job to really just focus on um, something else that's very, very important to yourself, you'll be able to do that because you have passive income coming in from your YouTube channel, from your video marketing, right? So passive income, the reason why you can earn passive income on you, YouTube is because YouTube has the ability to earn passive traffic and passive views, meaning that you can record a video a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, and that video can continuously get views over and over and over again for years to come. Thus, allowing you the ability to earn passive income. So as time goes on and the more you share things that you're passionate about and excited about or things that you want to change and help bring, you know, make the world a better place with, at the same time of you d doing that, what you love, you're earning money. Now, before I, even, I started doing this, before I got online, I didn't think this was possible. I didn't think that people making money. At first, I thought it was like, oh, yeah, I don't know. I think mm, might be a scam. I might get tricked into 
doing that thing. I really didn't know that people making money online on YouTube and passive income and residual income was happening. But then I started doing the research online and I started getting opened up to a whole new world. This is mad years ago. You know, this is almost about like nine years ago. And I'm like, wow, people really online making money? How? How are they making this money? What are they doing? Is it like a secret website that has like secret treasures and you just basically click the withdraw button and it you upload your bank account and it withdraws the money straight to your bank account? Like how are these people making all this money? Like that's what I was thinking. How are these people breaking free from their jobs? How are these people able to live this lifestyle and they're not working for a nine to five job? They're not pushing the clock. They're not standing on their feet all day. And, and, and at the time, I'm like, yo, I don't know if I was working at Babies R Us. I don't know if I was working as a security guard. But all I know is I kept thinking is how are people making this money? And is this really real? So I said, the only way I'm going to figure out if this is really real is is by making a new decision, right? <laughs> like by now, you realize that things won't change in life unless you make a new decision. Bef like every major breakthrough you're going to have in life is going to be on the other side of a new decision that you make, period. I don't care what you want to transform. Anything you want to transform in your life to bring it to a better place or to improve it, it will happen after you making a new decision. So there I was, I made a new decision. I said, let me get in on this business, this online business. Let me give it the benefit of the doubt and let me get in this thing. So next thing you know, my name is on leaderboards. I'm making thousands of dollars. I have a team of hundreds of people. People are coming out to events to see me, to ask me questions and hear me speak and, and, and do interviews. And like my, my life just started changing so, so fast at a fast pace. But it was almost like, where was this success all along? Where was this success all along? But it didn't just happen like that. You know what I mean? It didn't just happen at the drop of a dime. It took some type of development, like I had the desire to learn this online game. I literally wanted it. I craved it. I got obsessed with it. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it happened. Like every single day, I just kept going and kept going and kept going and learning a little bit more and a little bit more and taking action a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, you know, and next thing you know, I'm making sales left and right, left and right. And then now I got people on my team making money. And I'm like, wow, like this just months ago, I was wondering if this thing was even real. I was wondering if this thing, thing was even possible. Next thing you know, I'm making all this money and I'm like, damn, this is all most of my majority of the money I was making is from my YouTube channel, from my YouTube videos. And, you know, I'm not lying because that's the main thing that if you see and you watch the main thing that I've been building on. And that you can really see my transformation and, and how I change and, and how I'm growing up and how I'm learning new things and sharing with you. You really, the place where you really get to see that is through my YouTube channel. Let's just be honest. So, you know, I'm not lying when I say that I'm a YouTuber and the stuff that I actually teach works. I actually teach what I do. I teach what I do. And there's no limit to the amount of keywords. There's no limit to the amount of things you could talk about. There's no limit to the amount of content you could create. There's no limit to the amount of lives you can impact. There's no limit to the amount of things you can create. There's no limit to the amount of transformations that can happen for you in your life. There's no limit to the amount of passive income you can earn as long as you have that desire and that hunger and that, that belief that you can become financially free. But... If you're going to share a message, let it be a message that's going to do something better for the world. Let it be a message where you're going to fill somebody's cup up and not make their cup empty. You know what I'm saying? Because there's beauty in the struggle and there's ugliness in the success. There's beauty in the struggle and there's ugliness in the success. So what I challenge you to do today after hearing this call, I challenge you to write down and get crystal clear on what would you be doing? What would you be if time and money wasn't an issue for you? Write it down. What would you be doing? What would you be if time and money wasn't an issue for you? Then I want you to write down your goals. What is your monthly income goal that you want to accomplish? 
what is at by what time do you want to accomplish that monthly income goal? Also write that down, the time, the date. You know, for example, you say, oh, by December 15th, 2020, I want to be earning $20,000 a month. You know, by February 1st, 2021, I want to be earning $50,000 a month. You know, write it down crystal clear. And then the next thing I want you to do is to just ask yourself, say, hey, Is there a way I can see myself making money, making passive income on YouTube? Can I see myself earning passive income on YouTube? Can you see yourself earning passive income on YouTube? Write that question down. Can I see myself earning passive income on YouTube? All right. And so once you write down your goals, you get clear on what would you do? If time and money wasn't an issue for you and if you can see yourself earning passive income on YouTube, once you answer those questions, I think that will kind of get you in the right direction on in the right path of and letting you get clear to yourself on what you want to do in life. You know, uh, life isn't about making somebody do what they don't want to do. <laughs> that wouldn't be freedom, right? But true freedom is exciting true freedom is prosperous true freedom is just joyous you know what i'm you know what i'm saying and i don't want to go off too much on a tangent today on this call i just really wanted to in this podcast i just really wanted to kind of update you on what's going on in the world what's going on and how it connects to what I'm what what I've launched and what I've just recently got done on. Um, if you can find the secret link to get started, that would be awesome. If you can find the secret link. <laughs> if you can find the secret link. No, but all jokes aside, the time is now. We don't have much time left. This pandemonium in the streets. There's emptiness in the hearts and there's confusion in the minds. We have to unify. We have to come together. The time is now. I believe with what I've learned over the years and my expertise and my knowledge, I believe that we can truly do great things together and we can change the world together. I truly, truly wholeheartedly believe that. If it wasn't for the knowledge that I've been learning about marketing and sales and, and and ranking videos and getting traffic and being able to make money in your sleep if i wasn't learning like that's the whole reason why i was learning that over the last few years everything makes sense now it's not really for me to learn it to make money for myself it was always for me to teach it it was always for me to share it the gems the knowledge the information the secrets the strategies so i'm here to say that i'm willing to share more I'm willing to share more. Are you willing to lock arms with us and run with us? This is Jonathan Belcher at workwithjohnbelcher.com. Peace out.